sometimes what happens when you share something and later on in an argument they bring it up to, sh to shame you or to attack you, you start questioning whether I should, should have opened up. Now these needs that I mentioned, the need to feel safe, the need to find a confidant, the need to have someone to talk to, the need to be heard, the need to feel loved, these, the need to feel protected, these are, these are necessary needs. Not just physical ones, but emotional ones. When these needs are not met, let's talk about that scenario, when these needs are not met. When somebody says, I don't feel loved. I don't feel like anybody cares at home about me. I don't feel like I'm respected. I don't feel dignified. I don't feel understood. I feel constantly judged. I feel overlooked. I feel ignored. When you have these feelings, then just like when you don't get food, and you say, I got to eat, right? You don't have food, you got to eat. When you don't have rest, you got to go to sleep. Your body's tired, you got to go to sleep. When these needs are not met, you and I try to find something. Human beings try to find something to fill in that gap, to feed that void. And when we're about to feed that void, then comes Allah's light. Because Allah says, you can feed this light, but here's the way you should. And here's the way you shouldn't. Because whenever you say, I need to be, I don't feel like anybody in my family listens to me. I need to find somebody to talk to. There's a halal way to find somebody to talk to, and there's a very haram way to find somebody to talk to. There's a dark road you can go. And Allah's light will come inside you before you accept the message, and before you write back, or before you make a call, and it's gonna say, that's not a right way to go. That's not good. And you say, don't talk to me right now. I just need someone to talk to. I need an escape. You understand? What's going to happen inside you is these feelings, these emotions that are very powerful because they're explosive, remember? They're explosive. But Allah put that light inside us so we can protect ourselves from those explosions. That's what He gave us. But the thing is, when that struggle happens inside you and me, where we're trying to follow this light that Allah has given us, and every one of us has it, every one of us feels it, there's something, and by the way, the imagery, I didn't even go deep into it, the imagery of the, 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 the night, the dark, there's no light. But even then, the moon is still a little bit there. Sometimes you're in a terrible, dark environment. There's people around you that don't care about what Allah says. There's no light around you, but somewhere inside you, the sun is still reflecting. Something in you still says, this is dark. I gotta go find the light again. I gotta go towards the light again. That, that's a struggle you and I have to have inside of ourselves. You, this is a very brave thing to do. What happens when a person decides? What happens when a person decides they're going to be brave and they're going to overcome these explosive feelings? They're no small thing. They're gonna overcome these explosive feelings and they're gonna go towards Allah's light anyway. They're gonna follow Allah's light. And that means they might have to feel like, if I follow Allah's way, I might lose this person. I might, people might not, might not be happy with me. How am I going to fill, fill all these emotional needs if I follow Allah's way? Allah's way doesn't look like it's going to give me gratification. These other ways are giving me instant gratification. That's what shaitan wants. Shaitan says, follow my way and I'll give you, I'll fill those holes for you right now. And Allah says, follow my way and you may not feel it right now, but I'm telling you this is what's good for you and you, I will fill them for you. Because Allah didn't give us these needs to not fulfill them. But He wants to, us to fulfill them in a way that's blessed, not a way that's cursed. Even if you feel good right now, it's going to bring ruin to your life down the road. Don't do that to yourself. I shouldn't do that to myself. Find the road that's going to bring more and more light into your life. When we do that, what happens? Then finally, what I started with, people feel like they're not calm. Remember? They go running and jogging and working out and listening to music or playing video games and they still don't feel calm inside because their light is crying, saying, what are you doing? Allah says, Ya ayyatuhan nafsul mutma'inna The self that is finally calm, let me talk to you. Irji'i ila rabbiki Come back to your master. Meaning, come back to this light. How does a person find calmness? When they come back to Allah. When they come back. You have to ask yourself, I have to ask myself, what is it in my life that this ayah means. What is, what is coming back to Allah means for you is different from what it means for me. Your story is different than mine. Inna sa'yakum lashatta. Your struggles and your efforts are all over the place. Every one of you has your own story. What does it mean for you to come back and find calm in the company of Allah? 
This is the formula. Listen to this carefully. How do you know you're coming back to Allah? One, you know that you are content with whatever Allah does. You're no longer worried that you're going to lose something or there's going to be a void inside you. You're completely trusting Allah that He'll take care of it. He'll take care of it. The one who gave you these feelings knows how to take care of these feelings. You're radi with Him. And mardiya, and you're making sure whatever you're doing, He's happy with you. Two, you're happy with Him, but also, you're making sure that every step you take, you can say to yourself, this step I took, maybe other people were upset, but I know Allah is happy with me. When you can take those steps, then you have calm in your life. Then there could be chaos outside in the world, and inside the earthquake stopped. You're completely tranquil. Then he says, فَدْخُلِي fi ibadi." Enter into the company of my <coughs> slaves. Which is a description, it's remarkable. He didn't say, فَدْخُلِي jannati, وَدْخُلِي ibadi." فَدْخُلِي فِي عِبَادِي Meaning, enter heaven, enter, come into heaven, and then enter the company of my slaves. Because once you go into heaven, then you meet people. But Allah in this ayah did something else. He said something more, even more remarkable. I want you to be ranked among those who enslaved themselves to me. They gave themselves to me. And when you do that, then you know what Jannah is. There's not just the Jannah of the Akhirah. That's there in these ayat too. But there's a Jannah here too. And that Jannah happens, that calm, and that that com there's no concern left. That tranquility happens when you and I decide that we want to be Allah's slaves no matter what. Our loyalties are not even to our own emotions. Our loyalties are to Allah. When we can do that in our, inside of ourselves, when we can make that kind of a hijrah, then فَدْخُلِي فِي عِبَادِي وَدْخُلِي جَنَّتِي Then enter my Jannah. Isn't it? فَدْخُلِي الْجَنَّةِ Enter heaven. Enter Jannah. No. فَدْخُلِي جَنَّتِي Enter my Jannah. My, as if Allah, for these people who turn back to Allah and they follow the, 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 the path of light, the path of revelation, when they take even steps in that direction, Allah says about them, I'm making a special Jannah for you. I'm making a special Jannah for you. Those are the people we want to become. That's the struggle we want to win. This is a, it's a profound thing that Allah has given us between you know, these feelings that we have and the struggle to control them and to find that balanced path in between, I pray that Allah gives each and every one of you inside of your heart the strength and the willpower to trust Allah and to follow the way that you know is going to lead to Him being happy with you and you being happy with Him. May Allah Azza wa make us all of those that are radiyat and mardiyah and make us all of those that are fi ibadihi, that are among His slaves and enter into His jannah. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Hakim wa nafa'ani wa iyaakum bil ayati wa dhikr al